are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm good, thanks. My name's Lindsay. I'm a health educator. And um, so today I, I see from your chart that uh, you are having some weight concerns. And so I'm just wondering to start out if you could tell me a little bit in your own words kind of what's going on and how it's showing up in your life. Well, yes, I, I, I do have some weight concerns. Um, I saw my doctor about two weeks ago and I, that they wanted me to set this appointment up because um, I've been diagnosed with pre-diabetes mm -hmm. and, um, and they think that I need to, well they think and I think I need to, mm -hmm. it's time for me to do something about my weight. Okay. Yeah, so you're kind of initially here because the doctor sent you, but it sounds like you're also a little concerned. Oh yeah, um, oh yeah. I mean, the handwriting is on the wall. I've been, you know, putting on weight slowly, slowly over the years, so many years, mm -hmm. and um, I'm a little worried about it uh, because, well, for a lot of reasons. But um, be, being diagnosed with pre-diabetes mm -hmm. is a concern, and there's, you know, some other health concerns I have related to weight, like. My knee is starting to bother me, and I'm okay. short of breath when I'm walking now. Okay. Um, and you know, I I, I um, have a I have a sister and a mother who are also overweight. Yeah. And with problems, so and okay. and a dad who's diabetic, so you know, I I just kind of see the writing on the wall. Yeah, you're really scared. Like, there you see a lot of kind of the effects or where this could go, and and. You're really worried. Mm -hmm. I am. Um, I just don't know where to start, really, though, with mm -hmm. with doing anything because I kind of let it go for a long time. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Can you say a little bit more about that? You said I've let it go for a long time. So I was divorced five years ago. Okay. And I've been a single parent. Mm -hmm. I'm working full time. Yeah. And so by the time I get home. Um, I've had a very long day. Yeah, and you're exhausted. Yeah, and I'm tired. I, I can't stand a long time because my knee starts to bother me. I don't want to, you know, spend two hours cooking and cleaning up. Right. Um, and so I have two kids, two teens, mm -hmm. and we end up eating fast food. Have to go, you know, go go through the drive-through on the way home because we're all so hungry. Mm -hmm. um, and or frozen, something frozen, a frozen bar, or a pizza, or no, mm -hmm. we're not doing so good in the nutrition side of things. Okay, yeah, so you feel like there's just so much going on that kind of being able to make those decisions that maybe in a perfect world you could make, it's just really hard for you right now. Mm -hmm. um, and so and so I'm wondering, um, how how confident are you kind of in, in your ability to make some changes at this point? Kind of on a scale of one to ten, what are you? I I think it's going to, anything I do is going to be difficult. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd say a two or a three. Okay. Okay, and so maybe why not? Why not a zero? You mentioned a ton of things that are really challenging, and yet you said a two or a three. So why not a two or a one? Well, because even if we, even I know there's better things to order at the drive-thru. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know, there, there are some better choices these days. They didn't used to have salads. Right. And right. I know they have salads. I don't know how they relate to the hamburgers calorie-wise, but mm -hmm. I know that salads kind of better than french fries. Yeah, so you've got like a lot of information. It sounds like you've done some research too, maybe. Mm -hmm. no. no, you know what you hear. It yeah, just common mm -hmm. sense that you know vegetables are better than fried potatoes. Yeah, definitely. Um, and so, what what would it take maybe to get you up to more of like a five or a six? Kind of I'm thinking about your confidence. Oh, I don't know. I mean, the other thing is, if I make changes, mm -hmm. is that going to really change my weight? I, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think I'm very confident that way either. Okay. That. You know, I don't. I think it's going to take a lot, but I don't know that. You know, I, mm -hmm. I'm just not even sure where to start with it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's with uh, with so much going on, it's it's really hard to think about adding another thing onto your list. You know, especially when it is such a big change. Um, and so, <clears throat> you know, some people, whenever they're thinking about weight concerns, some people think more along the lines of exercise. 
Um, others think more about diet, changing their diet, and some people think about a combination of both. Um, think about your lifestyle um, and kind of what feels right for you. Kind of where would you fall um, in thinking about you know diet versus exercise? Well, all three of all, well, all three of us. So my mom and my sister all both have arthritis, okay. and I haven't really been told I have that, but this knee bothers me mm. a lot when I start to move around, yeah. and I, I know that if I have a, to walk a long distance into work, I get short breath. Mm -hmm. um, so, I don't know, I think exercise is going to be, I think it's going to be more difficult than any, something else, diet changes. Okay, yeah. Um, so, you know, um, I know that I could probably, instead of getting KFC fried chicken, I could probably get grilled chicken. Those yeah. kind of changes I think I can I can probably handle. Yeah. Uh, it's, you know, I mean, and, and I have my daughter, you know, she's 19, mm -hmm. and she's even concerned about her weight, too. So okay. I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, what I do will trickle down to her. Yeah. My son doesn't care. He's thin. You know, he he's very active. Yeah. So he's very happy with going through the try through every night right. and doesn't okay. seem to show it, you know. Right. But but you you're concerned about your daughter's health too and, and um, recognize kind of the relationship there. I'm wondering um, if it would be okay if we could do just like a little activity that I think might be helpful. Um, so you kind of mentioned that you know you care about your family. You mentioned your family a few times and especially your daughter. Um, and so it seems like you value that. And I'm just wondering if you would. Just kind of point out, this is a list of values, um, kind of some of the other things that you might really value or care about in your life. Um, maybe the top three that really stand out to you. And then just share them. Three out of all of those? Or five. Or as many as you feel are really important to you. Well, I mean, right there, I, I want to be a good parent to my mm -hmm. kids. I mean, I feel as if um, that's my, besides, I mean, having to support them, right, with my job, mm -hmm. I, I need to be a good parent to them. Mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about that one. Mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about that one. I feel already like I'm responsible. I've gotten stronger mm -hmm. um, over these past five years. Um, Yes, I want them to know that I'm confident. It's mm -hmm. a good one. I mean, I'm good at my job, and so I feel like that kind of goes with being a good parent. Mm -hmm. um, you know that if I'm good at if I'm good at this, some of these other things are going to fall in line, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't care about my popularity. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess I, I don't want them to think I'm a hypocrite. I want to be um, sort of, as a good parent, showing them how to live better, mm -hmm. better than I am. There's no youthful being <laughs> older, but there's no older being younger. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that those would be good parent, confident, and probably yeah. this one here. So a lot of these really tie into, like, your ability to be a good parent and to be a good kind of role model for them. Mm -hmm. um, something you said that I wanted to ask about is you said you've gotten a lot stronger over the past few years. Well, I, after my divorce mm -hmm. you know, five years ago, um, I don't have... Uh, I mean, I, their dad still, they still see their dad, but, mm -hmm. you know, I've got my own place, and I've got, I you had to really sort of straighten my act up in terms of supporting myself, and, you know, so, yeah, I feel strong. Yeah, so kind of in the midst of all of that, you took a lot of steps for yourself and, and did what you needed to do, and I'm wondering kind of if some of that strength um, could be useful to carry over kind of into this stuff, you know? You were able to do it before, maybe um, we could draw on some of that and do it again. But kind of looking more at this list, you mentioned good parents, competent, and how a lot of things followed from that, and then not hypocritical. Um, how do you kind of see this issue of diet, you know, supporting or taking away from these values? 
you know, maybe starting with good parents. Well, a good parent is going to make sure that there's good food on the table. You mm -hmm. know, that they're going to have good habits. They're going to um, do, you know, show by action rather mm -hmm. than telling it. Yeah. Uh, do do as I do, not as I say I do, mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of thing. But um, sort of to show them in real life what it what it it means to be um, eating well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then what about kind of competent? I know you already kind of talked about not hypocritical. You know, do you know mm -hmm. actually modeling that? But what about competent? How does kind of the diet piece fit in with that value? Well, I guess it's because, like I say, I feel effective and um, in control at work, uh, and I, you know, hit all the targets at work, and I hit um, all the goals that are out there, mm -hmm. and I need to do that more in my personal life. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So you're really strong in that professional life, and you want to kind of bring that over and be. A good parent. Um, so, if you don't mind, I'm just going to kind of summarize some of the things that we've talked about so far. Um, so, you know, weight has been becoming more and more of a concern, and it's really built up. Um, maybe even starting with that divorce, where other things took priority, and you just kind of let things go. Um, you've got a lot on your plate, right? You've got, you know, your kids. You've got work. Um, a lot to manage, and so, um, and you're really worried, you know, um, with a recent doctor's visit and maybe family history. Um, and so it seems like making um, some sort of uh, plan is really important for you to kind of work into your role as a good parent. Um, and I'm wondering kind of um, where does that lead you, like thinking about moving forward, you know? Well, I, I, I want to have a starting place. Mm -hmm. I wanna, I'm want i not 100% sure of what all the things I need to be doing better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So maybe, you know, something you mentioned a few times is that you feel pretty confident that you could, you know, when you're going through the drive through picking grilled chicken instead of um, fried chicken or salads instead of sandwiches. Um, you also mentioned, as part of being a good parent, you know, just like buying healthier foods to have in the house um, for your kids. Um, and I'm wondering kind of what other options do you see as maybe good starting places for you? Not to say, I don't think eating fast food and frozen food is the way to go. I think I need to get back to where we were before when we were kind of an intact family mm -hmm. and I would come home or I would plan, you know, so my meals out better. And uh, I'm not doing that now. I would, I've just been too exhausted to maybe put something in the crock pot in the morning mm -hmm. that we can come home and the house that smells so good. Yeah. It's more like a fast dash to the, to the you know, fast food joint, but um, I think I could probably do better planning and um, buy, like you say, healthier food is more wholesome instead of packaged food. Maybe mm -hmm. I could be getting like frozen, you know, meals that have noodles and those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. I could get um, even packaged salads mm -hmm. and rotisserie chicken they have, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, to me, that's, a, that's an okay meal. Yeah, and that's a step, and, there, and you mentioned, you know, you just need this place to start, right? Um, and that's a good starting place. And that's the one that makes me feel guiltiest, is dinner. Um, yeah. Breakfast, eh, lunch, they get whatever they, you know, get at the school lunch. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but dinner is the one place I think I can make a big difference. Okay. Um, yeah, and so it's kind of what you've identified is just, you know, planning meals a little bit better, it's just starting... You know, small, starting small, you know, choosing the rotisserie chicken when you're at the grocery store, mm -hmm. um, things like that. So, kind of, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, yeah, yeah, when I'm feeling so exhausted, I can put the money in my kids' hands and they can go get things yeah. in the store, you know, even if I can wait. Yeah, it, I, think it, I think that's the best place for me to start. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, thinking now kind of about even the next few days, the next week, um, What's today? What's today? Um, what are some what are some things you can do, whether it's kind of mentally preparing yourself or actually going out and starting doing these things? What are some things you can do in the next day or so? Make a list. Make a list. Okay. 
So sitting down takes some time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Planning out my idea. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> okay. Okay.